Power BI Desktop, a great tool for transforming, analyzing, and visualizing data. You can download and install it free from the Microsoft Store. And anytime new version comes out, you will get free updates as well. Before you visualize your data, you need to prepare and load it into Power BI. There are several connection options available for that. You can import data, use a direct query method, or create a live connection. In this video, I will explain the import data method and how to load data from Excel. When you launch Power BI Desktop, you will see this screen. I will close this one and will explain how it is organized. Here, we have the ribbons pane. At the left side, we had view buttons and we have three buttons. When you load data, you will see it here. The first one is the report view, the second one is the data view, and here we have the data model view. At the right side, we have the visualizations pane and the fields pane. And when we have the filters, we can expand this one as well. The main part of this is the canvas. He, this is the place where we create visualizations. And in the corner here, we have the pages. You can create new pages here. And then if you want to change the name, you will double click and change it. Now let's move to the get data. The get data icon is here. Power BI can connect to wide variety of data sources. When you click on that, you see the bunch of the options. In this example, I will concentrate to import data from Excel, so I will click on the Excel. And this is the sheet I want to use for the example. And now the navigation window will open up. In the navigation window, I see the Excel sheet that I want to use as a source. And there I have only one sheet, but on that data, I have built the table on that. That's why I see it in two different lines. And you can see the differences in icons as well. The first one is the table, so you see more the table type of the icon. And the second one is just the worksheet. Once I have a table there, I will choose that one. You have the options here as well to load it directly or to transform data and go to the query editor. It doesn't make a difference which one you choose. You can go to the query editor anyway. So let's, in this case, let's click on the transform data. and the query editor window will open up. Well, in the query editor, we have our source here. It is in the queries pane here. And this is the data that was loaded. Here we have different tabs where we can do a lot of transformations when it is needed. And to this side, we have the applied steps Every time we make a transformation in the query, we will see it in these tabs. For today's example, I have chosen a clean file that is the structured data. It is a tabular data that is a columnar layout. So it does not need any transformations. It is structured already. But when you have unstructured data, and I will show it in other uh, videos, you can make all the types of transformations here and you will see everything in the applied steps if you want to check what is your source you, you will click on the source and here i see these tables and the sheet names and then all these steps will be recorded here when you have many steps and you want to see all of them in one go you can go to the view button and click on the advanced editor and you will see the performed steps here. Power BI is using the query language M, so 
this is the return in the in that language. Sometimes it's quite handy when you are beta attempt to go and check the end. You can make the changes directly there as well. Either you can make a step by step and follow query editor, which will record it for you. Please notice that this query name was picked up from the imported Excel file. The file name, the table name was the same. And you have it recorded here as well. And if you want to make changes, let's remove the table here. You will change it here and then the query name will be changed. It's always a good practice to give queries the meaningful names. When you import data, you load a copy of it in the Power BI. And Power BI using the, is using the in-memory engine that is called Vertipak. And importing data consumes um, access memory and disk space. Once we are at the View tab, you can notice that the formula bar is selected. This is quite handy. That's why I see this formula bar lying here. Whenever you write the code or make another steps, you will see it here. So please keep it selected. Now let's go back to the form. And if it happens, and it happens, of course, when you change the source document, you will make some changes or you will update it there. Then you can update it in the Power Query as well. You will click on the Refresh Preview and Refresh All. And your source will be updated as well. After, when you don't uh, need to make other transformations, you will go to the Close and Apply, and you will close and apply. And the changes will be reflected in the Power BI Desktop. Let's check now what will happen if you change the source location of your file that you are using as the source for the Power BI, or you will change the file name. Let's go to the Query Editor. I will click on the Transform Data, Transform Data, and then the Query Editor opens up. And what I did, I have changed the name of the file that I have used for this example. And you can directly notice that, that something is wrong here. We have this red line. If I check, uh, click on the query and check the source, it stays. It follows all the steps. Then the first step you want to do is let's refresh it. I will go to refresh, refresh all, and I got the error message. Well, whenever you change the name of your file or change the location of that, you will move it to another folder. The Power Query Editor is not identifying it anymore. So you must go back to the query and change the file location. The steps are the same. Either the name is changed or the location is changed. You will do perform the same steps. When you get a message like that, that there is a source error is there, what you must do, you will go to the data source settings, you click there, and this is the file that was used uh, to load the data. And once we have changed the name or changed the source, we must change it here as well. You will change, click on the change source, and then you will browse for the correct file that you want to use for the source, double click, OK, and close. And the source location or the source name will be updated Power Query. When you click on the Refresh Preview, it must go to the correct uh, situation. Like if I click on the next steps, everything is fine now. We don't have the red lines anymore. So it is a quite easy step. When you change the name of the sheet, Power Query will give the error message as well. To change the sheet name and to correct it here, it is more complicated than rather than to correct the location or the file name, especially if you have many transformation steps there. So if you are not a very experienced user, please keep the sheet names the same. 
but you can move your files to different folders and you can change location like that. This is a very easy step. This was the introduction video to the Power BI Desktop and Query Editor. Hope you found it interesting and will continue learning.